What's up, NB fans? I know everybody right now is wondering where the hell is the information on this game? All right, next week, Friday, we should have some more information, if not major news, on multiverses. Here's why. Well, if you guys didn't know, now you know. Multiverses is nominated to be the best fighting game and the best multiplayer game of the year. So you better go vote now. The link will be in the description. We need this W for them. But anyways, shout out to that boy Avatar. I'm gonna make sure I leave a link in the description for him. We were talking about this yesterday. It's already infamous for games to show new content at the Game Awards. So what would be the best place for Multiverses to announce what's going on with the game? Would it be on Twitter or would it be at the Game Awards? Obviously, it's gonna be at the Game Awards, right? But first of all, I actually want to see who they're going against in best fighting game. And make sure, let me make sure I vote right now. Okay, let's look it up. Best fighting game is DNF Duel, JoJo's Bazaar, King of Fighters, Multiverses, and Sifu. Sifu not winning this. DNF Duel is not winning this. JoJo is actually a good game, which is crazy, but in reality, it doesn't have as much impact as these other two games. King of Fighters, I feel like is their only competition, but Multiverses on release on the beta broke hella records. But this is gonna be a very, very interesting thing to see. I pray that Multiverses wins fighting game of the year because that would do so much in the term of advertising for them. Cause you know, a lot of people like to see titles and things in front of games before they even give it a chance. That will bring some new people and maybe bring some old people back wondering how did they win game of the year. Let's see the multiplayer games. Let me see. Who are they going to get in multiplayer? Woo, this is a whole nother, this is a whole nother world. <laughs> see multiplayer, I don't know about this one. Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Multiverses, Overwatch 2, Splatoon, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Shredder's Revenge. Overwatch 2 or Call of Duty is one of these two. Splatoon is a good game, but it's only on Nintendo, unfortunately. Shredder's Revenge is a good game, but again, I feel like these games will outbeat it because of the terms of popularity, one of these two. Good luck with Multiverses, could I still vote? But yeah, knowing all of that information, knowing that Tony been very quiet, haven't been really, you know, talking about what's going on with the game. The Game Awards are coming up. They're definitely nominated in two categories. If I am wrong, we're going to go ahead and vote on a challenge for me to do. But I doubt that I'm wrong. Marvin came out over a week ago. They usually announce something between the second and third week after a character releases. We need some new news anyway. So the Game Awards would be the best time. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope it will be a major announcement. I hope it's a major announcement talking about the future of the game, what their plans and goals are with this game. Man, I need a real release date at this point. We should be getting an announcement on new things coming to Multiverses by next week at the Game Awards. If not, I don't know people, but I'm willing to place a bet on it. Let me know what you guys think about it. TDN signing out. Yo, yo, yo.